With the micro manipulator, we introduce the hatching micro pipette into the toroid acid solution drop and we suck carefully enough quantity. We go then to the biopsy medium drop and we move the micro manipulator arm until we see the biopsy micro pipette. Then we take out enough quantity to avoid a negative pressure when we will suck the blastomer. We leave the embryo on the biopsy plate that we take to the microscope and we start with the process. We place the embryo so that we can gain access to the selected blastomer. Once we have placed the embryo, we discharge the acid while rubbing softly the pellucid. We must move the hatching micropipette forward with an up and down movement to diffuse the acid medium on an area of approximately three quarters the blastomer size. We continue up to the complete broken of the pellucid internal part. To extract the blastomer, it is necessary to line up the biopsy micropipette with the opening area. Once the position and lineup is correct, we block completely the pellucid opening with a micropipette tip to avoid sucking medium. After we suck the blastomer carefully with an up and down movement and in such a way that the blastomer can be tailored to the micropipette light without breaking. For that, we must press the blastomer while we suck it gradually. Sometimes it is necessary to separate the micropipette trying to take the blastomer to the outside of the embryo, but then we must avoid aspiration because we may run the risk of breaking the blastomer. Once we extract the cell, we take out the biopsy pipette and we keep the blastomer into the medium next to the embryo. Now we liberate the embryo. Finally, we take the embryo back to the culture plate to obtain the diagnosis. The process is performed with each selected embryo. In cases of monogenic disorders, the cells from the biopsy are analyzed with PCR or by FISH if we want to detect numeric or structural chromosomal anomalies.